At Home Solutions, we get involved with designing, developing, and testing products across a wide range of industries. Typically, all of these products save people's lives. And the only real way to get surety that these products are going to work is to actually test them as they would be used. We get to break those things to make sure that they work as designed when they're called upon. For this project, we're testing a rockfall protection structure. Stolton, as part of the Nectar Alliance, came to us with a theoretical design for a rockfall protection system. We had to build a wall, create a rock, and then hurl the rock at the wall to ensure that the wall would withstand the type of energies that you would see in a typical rock fall in this particular region. They've got uh, half a dozen slip faces that they believe they need some protections above the highway. So if, if this meets with their requirements, it's likely that the wall will be used in those areas. The purpose of this wall is to stop rocks from reaching the roadside. It's about human safety. It's about protecting life and, and property. We need to protect from some fairly big rock falls, but there's not a lot of space to do it. This solution allows us to put that protection in in a much more limited space than you otherwise might. The wall had to be flexible, so the design sort of transformed to a composite structure with gabion baskets with a layer of rock fill that we can see at the front, as well as a sand layer behind before the impact hits the precast. When we test a rock fall protective structure, we've got two levels of energy. We've got one level of energy, which is energy that can be repeated over time, so you want the wall to be able to sustain this level of impact several times without having to repair it. And then you've got the maximum level of energy where the only thing you want is for the structure to stop the block. You don't care about the damage, you just want the block to be stopped. And that's what we're testing today. Homes has been fantastic, and if we didn't have their knowledge and resources to be able to just dive right in and set this up, then we wouldn't have been able to test the wall because we just wouldn't have had the skills and knowledge to be able to figure out how to hit the wall with the energies that we're looking for. We call it the wacky racer, but in effect it's a rolling bogey that we can scale up and down with our weights to get the right impact energies for when we hit the wall. We're actually hitting the back side of the wall. The other side is what would be the road side, so they don't want to see the debris too far on the other side of the foundations um, because that's where cars would be travelling. It's got a couple of rollers on the other side that connect to the rail. Uh, we hook a tow cable onto the front, which will pick up a weight and pick it up approximately 20 metres in the air to pull the bogey through. The bogey follows the rail and impacts the wall and this is going to be travelling roughly 85 kilometres an hour, which will give us 750 kilojoules of energy into the wall and we'll see what happens. Well, we're pleased with the result. Nothing on the road, which means that, well, total success from our perspective. We couldn't have asked for a whole lot more than that. You know, it's still standing. Uh, it's performed really well. The test went well. Uh, the bogey hit the uh, impact point exactly where we wanted it to. Uh, there's no debris on the back of the wall, which is excellent for when it's get built on the side of the road. Um, so everything, yeah, successful test. It stopped. It stopped our rock. 